Okay, I think it's time that uh, we start involving the, the left hand here. And uh, we'll go through a few chords, a few basic chords. Uh, we have a C chord here. Uh, main three chords in bluegrass, if you're playing in the key of G, the main three chords you're probably going to use are G, C, and D. So it's G, C, and D. Okay, C chord. If you use your ring finger of your left hand on the second fret, that's the second space on the first string. Use your index finger on the first fret of the second string. Your third string, we're going to play open. That means we aren't going to fret that anywhere. That's just going to stay as is, which gives you a note of G. And then your fourth string, we're going to play that one too at the second fret. And your fifth string is also a G, the same as your third, so that can that can stay open. Now it's quite important to make sure that all these notes sound clear. Uh, if you're not fretting, if you're not pressing down hard enough, you'll get a dead spot. You may also find if your fingers aren't coming down clearly on the top, maybe if your fingers are laying flat like this, that the ball of one finger fretting here will be touching the next string to it. So bring your Drop your wrist, drop the wrist, relax the arm, and bring the fingers over the top. Make sure they're nice and clean. Okay, while we've got the C chord, let's just try the alternating thumb that we learned earlier. And let's do a couple measures in G and into C. Couple in G, couple in C. Keep the notes nice and clean, keep your timing nice and steady, try and keep all the notes with your right hand even. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the other chord you'll probably want to use in the uh, key of G is the D chord. And the D chord uh, basically is your C chord. If you take it up one fret, C sharp, take it up another fret, gives you D. C, C sharp, D. So if we take the C chord, move it up two frets, but now we have an open G. We need to bring the G up too. So we need to go from the open G up one fret to another fret. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the index finger on the G string, third string, at the second fret. Put your second finger on the second string at the third fret. Your little pinky finger there will go on the first string at the fourth fret. And your ring finger is going to reach way over here on the fourth string on the fourth fret. I'm, I'm staying away from that fifth string. Um, we won't actually go into chord theory or structure in this DVD, but suffice to say that that fifth string is still tuned to G, and G is not part of a D chord. So that would actually give us a discord. So it's advisable to try and stay away from that when you're playing a D chord. 
if we go back to our, our alternating thumb, we can play that in G. And then if we go to D, we can use the pinch method that we used earlier, where we don't play the fifth string, we're just gonna play the third string, pinch the first and second together. And then the fourth string, and pinch the first and second together. We'll do that with a D chord. So if we take the alternating thumb, and we play a couple measures in G, then we'll play a couple measures in C, and then we'll go to the D chord and use the pinch. Add the C chord. Back to G. G to D. with a pinch. 